Okay, um... But today, I guess Minority wrongfully, um, gave me points again. Claiming I took a 7-minute, 37-minute lunch. And I'm like, uh, no, I didn't, but I can't really fight because... I can't really prove that their time clock um, had a time error. I think I came back like two or three minutes over. That's about it. So I looked at the clock and that was Friday and, and even the other day, you know. And I can't prove either that this still has retaliation from my boss either. Because even... You know, because if you're a supervisor or a store manager or a system manager, you're not allowed to uh, retaliate. But I guess um, if you're a regular associate, you can't either. So, um, it, it's really hard to prove, you know. So, and, and it's like, I disagree with it, but I can't say it to their face that I disagree with it. Because I guess they wrongfully gave me points even before that. So, you know, I took a minute too long of a little break. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And there's been a lot of times where I've sat there and the time clock does not want to take my badge. Yeah. They got a newer time clock now. And, yeah. So, um... In the videos that are coming up where I say why I want to leave Menards, um, I have good reason to it, but I'm only looking for a full-time job in retail right now. Right now, I do not have medical benefits, so I can't have my right shoulder checked to see what's going on with it. I can't have my right knee rechecked either, so... Um... Yeah, and it's like, um, I'm just hoping that another re retailer will see all my, um, retail experiences and wonder why Menards had me pushing carts and cashiering before, and, you know, not have had me on the sales floor when I have all the experience for that, so, um... And, and there's a lot of things. Once I have quitted Menards, um, Amber has done that to them before. Kept giving them coaching and they were like, what did I do wrong now? They gave that look and they were like always um, grieving when they came into work because they didn't know why they were getting written up for. You know? Um, yeah. So, it's like, I'm fearing too, even with my health, uh, if I get a full-time job at a retailer where I can get some medical benefits and having some of these medical issues checked, um, I think my health would be a little better too. So, and right now I'm part-time at Menards. I know they kept promising to make me full-time, but... I know that ain't gonna happen. It's like, it's, it's just a lie, basically. But, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, it's just time to move on to another retailer. You know, um, because, yeah, one. I'm to the point where, like, if I'm pushing carts and if my um, knee condition acts up real bad, I can't really walk. <laughs> no, because every time I come into work, I'm actually wearing um, two knee braces on my right knee. And that's where my knee condition is, is in my right knee. So, um... Yeah, I kind of just hide the knee braces under my pants because I don't want any um, customers noticing that because that's a bad thing. Then the, if they seen that, they would refuse to even let me do carry out and my boss would get mad at me. Um, so if I was able to, let's say, prove that 
there was wrongful points towards me and there was something wrong with the time clock. Um, Menards would have to take all that off my record and apologize. But, like I said, it's so hard to prove that. Um, and you can't re retaliate always there is consequences. Like, if you're a supervisor in retail, you can't um, retaliate because then otherwise... Um, you would get demoted and coaching added to you. Um, that's how that is, unfortunately. And, you know, it's like what's in retail. If you're a supervisor, you got to make sure everything's nice and clean, well stocked, neat. And, you know, you got to make sure that your employees know what they're doing and how to do their jobs properly. You know, you got to give them direction and you got to get them happen to it. You know. Um, I just feel that Menards just don't want me there anymore. And I know like with Chippewa River Industries, CRI, my DVR vendor, they um, don't like that I'm saying retail only, but it's like that's all I've done for most of my life, and I'm probably just gonna stick to it. But, um, and, and the sad part to say is, you know, I don't know how much longer I can really do uh, working. Because <laughs> I might have to, when I'm 40, book for disability, because I guess. Like I said, you know, and that makes it real hard to do um, carts when you got a knee condition and it's going downhill the older you get. And it's going to be really bad probably when I'm 40, so <laughs> I'm thir like, I'm 31, so, and yeah, I can't um, go to work without wearing a knee brace now, so... I think I've been wearing that knee brace to work for about a year now. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, um, really just hoping that we can also get the house that we have a bid on. I guess our realtor said there were six offers and down to just us and our person. They'll decide by 8 o'clock tonight. But, um, I'm really hoping to get that house. Um, yeah, I, I know Arnie's been a little tough and rough on our realtor, Sam Palzer. But it's like, I know he's a real nice guy. I think he's still learning how to do his job. You know, you gotta give sometimes the benefit of a doubt. I'm gonna have to get after him just to get us knowing what's going on, you know. I think he's still learning, you know. So. But. Um. That's how it is in retail, though. Usually it's really hard to prove that, but if you can, then they have to take away the coaching, let alone the points that they just given to you, and then everybody will be wondering what the heck is going on. And <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, um, and that's the thing with my right shoulder. Yes, I should not be pushing carts and doing carryouts with a bad shoulder. <laughs> you know, um, but I can't really say that either. People would, um, freak out. <laughs>